This is the one that's traveled farthest from home. Voyager 1. She bears a message to a billion years from now. Venturing into space unveils a plethora of mysterious and unusual occurrences, many of which remain concealed by NASA. The space agency has safeguarded a wealth of enigmatic information, shielding it from public knowledge. Interestingly, certain mysterious details are often captured by space probes, such as Voyager 1 and 2. These intrepid probes journey through the cosmos, capturing mesmerizing snapshots that are transmitted back to NASA as messages in the form of photos. What remains obscured from public awareness, however, is that some of these seemingly ordinary images harbor undisclosed secrets. Delving into the unseen, one might ponder, are these hidden details intentionally kept from us? Could extraterrestrial entities play a role in shaping these mysterious photographs? Join us as we uncover how Voyager just sent this terrifying new image back to Earth that we haven't seen. The extraordinary twin spacecraft crafted by NASA, known as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, have captivated the realm of science with their remarkable findings. Scientists and astronomers worldwide have showered praise upon these probes, hailing them as an ongoing scientific gift. Yet, amidst their awe-inspiring discoveries, a cover of mystery surrounds certain photos captured by these space agents. One such enigmatic image originates from Voyager 1, depicting Jupiter's moon, Io Io stands out as the most dynamically active locale in our solar system, earning it a coveted spot among the top 1% of unearthly worlds, as envisioned by astronomers. Notably, Io boasts a peculiar characteristic, volcanoes and not just a solitary one, but an abundance scattered across its surface. The genesis of these volcanic formations lies in Io's colossal gravity, which induces an event known as tidal heating. This complex process involves the gravitational forces of Jupiter stretching Io's interior, causing rocks to metamorphose into liquid magma. Over time, the magma accumulates substantial pressure until it explosively erupts onto the Moon's surface. However, despite the wealth of knowledge unveiled by these probes, certain images, like the one portraying Io, remain concealed within the vaults of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, adding an air of secrecy to the captivating narrative of Jupiter's moon and its extraordinary volcanic landscape. In a captivating twist, NASA, the Space Exploration Authority, captured an image that concealed a secret. The photograph, skillfully taken by Voyager 1, underwent thorough examination by NASA's experts. What unfolded was a revelation of one of the active plumes of the Loki volcano. It's an interesting anomaly, as active volcanoes are not commonly associated with our solar system. Typically, space is dominated by geologically inert entities. However, Voyager's journey to Io in the late 1970s disrupted this idea. During its flyby, Voyager discovered more than five active eruptions and even managed to immortalize one on film. Since then, the tally has risen, with over 150 active volcanoes identified and mapped. Additionally, there are around 400 theorized volcanoes yet to be explored. All these volcanic wonders exist beyond the boundaries of our home planet, adding a layer of cosmic interest to the celestial hanging. Among the remarkable volcanoes in our solar system, one stands out as particularly amazing. Loki. Named after the mischievous Norse god, Loki may not claim the title of the largest volcano, but its distinction lies in being the most potent. Its groundbreaking diameter stretches across an impressive 202 kilometers, yet it's not the sheer size that captivates scientists and astronomers. What truly captivates the scientific community is Loki's molten underground lava lake, the source of its formidable power. This reservoir fuels Loki, allowing it to unleash lava with incredible force, propelling it hundreds of miles into the vastness of space. 
This unique ability has garnered Loki widespread attention, making it a focal point in the world of science. The sheer power of Loki, capable of launching molten lava across vast distances, has become a subject of intense scrutiny among scientists and astronomers. Despite not being the largest volcano, Loki's ability to shoot lava into space has captured the imagination of the entire scientific community since its discovery. It's not just the past eruptions that keep Loki in the spotlight. Rather, the volcano's predictable schedule adds to the interest. Astronomers have observed a regularity in Loki's eruptions, prompting speculation that another powerful eruption is imminent. The anticipation of an upcoming event, potentially more potent than previous ones, adds an extra layer of fascination to this celestial spectacle. Imagine the spectacular display of a volcano shooting lava into the sky during its most intense phase. Julie Rathburner, a senior scientist at the Planetary Science Institute, once presented a captivating poster at a congress in Geneva. This visual masterpiece illustrated the remarkable ease with which we can predict eruptions on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Io's volcanic activity is so vivid in the infrared spectrum that telescopes on Earth can effortlessly detect it. This truth is backed by years of research, spanning the past two decades. During the 1990s, scientists closely examined Loki, one of Io's prominent volcanoes. They discovered a consistent pattern. Loki erupted every 540 days. More recent studies delved deeper into Loki's behavior, revealing a fascinating twist. The volcano now seems to erupt every 475 days. This accurate prediction by Rathbun showcases her expertise in unraveling the mysteries of celestial bodies. However, predicting volcanic eruptions is typically a daunting task given the multitude of factors influencing such events. Rathbun suggests that Loki's sheer size makes it a unique case. Basic physics, she explains, is likely to play a dominant role in its eruptions. Unlike smaller volcanoes, Loki's immense size shields it from some complications that often hinder predictions. Despite Loki's predictability, it remains a dynamic and interesting force in the realm of celestial phenomena. Even Rathbun, who once predicted the eruptions of the Loki volcano, admitted that Loki, named after a mischievous god, doesn't behave himself. Rathbun made this statement back in the early 2000s when a 540-day pattern was identified. Surprisingly, Loki's behavior changed at that point, and it didn't show any periodic behavior until around 2013. So, true to its name, the volcano lived up to its mischievous reputation. In a new study led by Catherine DeClaire, a planetary scientist and her team, three decades of Loki's observations were meticulously examined. Their goal is to uncover any patterns that could shed light on the volcano's unpredictable schedule. The study focused on understanding how Loki's activity aligns with Io's orbit around Jupiter. Some people anticipated that Io's volcanoes might follow a predictable pattern like this, said Catherine DeClaire. But then there are others who believe these volcanoes are so complex that they wouldn't necessarily adhere to orbital trends. To kickstart their investigation, DeClaire and her colleagues delved into the specifics of Io's orbit, which completes a cycle in about 1.77 Earth days. This rapid pace posed a challenge for scientists relying on Earth-based telescopes, as they can only observe Io when it's directly in their line of sight. Deep within the vast expanse of space, there exist cycles of motion that unfold at a leisurely pace, spanning hundreds of days. These cycles, intricately interwoven with the orbit of Jupiter's moon Io, are influenced by the gravitational tugs of other moons. It is within this cosmic ballet that we find a fascinating connection to the moon's tidal heating. Scientists embark on a captivating quest to decipher the hidden patterns within Io's volcanic dance. Tidal heating, the cosmic force behind the moon's volcanic prowess, is expected to yield a choreography of eruptions following distinct and predictable patterns. A celestial canvas where volcanoes emerge at specific locales on Io's surface, forming a cosmic symphony of eruptions 
that unfolds in a rhythmic cadence. In the pursuit of unraveling these cosmic mysteries, the diligent researchers gathered a trove of observations spanning three decades, a timeline marked by sporadic bursts of scientific data. However, in the year 2013, a dedicated effort by a team of scientists sought to maximize their insights into Io's enigmatic activities, focusing their gaze on a prominent feature known as Loki. The most detailed and amazing data set ever compiled, offering scientists an unprecedented glimpse into the intricacies of Loki's volcanic spectacle. The data itself stands as proof of the dedication and ingenuity of those who seek to unravel the cosmic secrets that lie hidden within the celestial tapestry. Julie Rathbun, though not directly involved in the recent study, and also an expert on Loki, emphasized in a statement how challenging it is to gather all the desired data from the ground. Another critical aspect highlighted by Rathbun and her colleagues revolves around the intricacies of Io's orbit around Jupiter. Although this orbital pattern is relatively more accessible to study, it may not be the initial focus for volcanologists accustomed to investigating volcanoes closer to home, unaffected by tidal heating. Rathbun pointed out that much of our understanding of geology is rooted in terrestrial geology, where tidal forces are not a prominent factor. This is a departure from what scientists, especially those delving into volcano studies, are accustomed to exploring. She mentioned, when studying planets and moons, tides and periodicity become some of the most conspicuous aspects to measure. The research team led by Declare drew inspiration from observations of plumes emanating from one of Saturn's moons, Enceladus. These plumes exhibited a fascinating pattern of brightening and dimming in sync with the moon's orbit, setting off a chain of scientific curiosity and exploration. Imagine a volcano with its internal rhythm, a pulsating cadence that resonates on a scale different from the rapid beat of its 1.77-day orbital cycle. Dr. Declare and her colleagues propose a compelling idea. The volcano's plumbing might not keep pace with the swift dance of tidal heating, yielding only slower, more deliberate cycles to sculpt its evolving landscape. Unlocking the secrets of Loki isn't just about unraveling the secret of one moon. Earth, often considered an outlier in the world of volcanoes, stands apart with its minimal reliance on tidal heating. Yet, Loki beckons us to broaden our perspective, reminding us that this phenomenon is a crucial player in the grand hanging of planetary science across our solar system and beyond. On Earth, global-scale, tidally-driven geophysics remains a rarity, making Loki's volcanic rhythms a captivating celestial spectacle worth decoding. Imagine being in a world that feels almost alien, where the normal processes are unlike anything we experience on Earth. By exploring these unique processes, we can expand our understanding of geophysics beyond just Earth. It's about breaking free from the Earth-centric view and embracing a broader perspective. The scientists, led by Declare, are on a quest to unveil the secrets of Loki, a fascinating phenomenon in this alien world. They want to regularly check in on Loki to decipher how its orbital cycles influence its activity. By crunching numbers and analyzing timelines, they hope to predict when the volcano might stir within a few years. The goal is to gather enough data to unravel Loki's dynamics and gain a deeper insight into its behavior. The excitement builds as Declare and her colleagues anticipate the moments when Loki is expected to brighten. It's like a thrilling countdown to witnessing a spectacular event. Imagine the joy of seeing Loki light up in the images, vividly displaying its unique characteristics. This ongoing exploration is necessary for us to experience these incredible discoveries. Voyager 2 set off on its journey before its twin probe, Voyager 1. Despite their names, the order of their launch was quite the opposite. It just goes to show that even in the vastness of space, surprises are waiting to be uncovered. Embarking on their incredible space odyssey, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 took off into the cosmic unknown from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 41. 
the monumental journey commenced on August 20, 1977, with Voyager 1 closely followed by Voyager 2 on September 5 of the same year. While Voyager 1 had its sights set primarily on the captivating realms of Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 went a step further, exploring the grandeur of Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 1 officially marked its entry into stellar space on August 25, 2012, and Voyager 2 followed suit on November 5, 2018. Undeterred by the vastness of space, these intrepid probes continued their celestial journey, equipped with enough power and fuel to sustain their scientific instruments until at least 2025, as per NASA's estimations. The perseverance of Voyager 1 bore fruit when it made a groundbreaking discovery, a volcano on Jupiter's moon. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 outdid itself by capturing a momentous and amazing image of Neptune's rings on August 26, 1989. Before this revelation, astronomers had merely suspected the existence of rings around Neptune, now acknowledged as the outermost major planet with such celestial adornments. This discovery added to the knowledge bank as Uranus had revealed its rings in 1977, followed by Jupiter in 1979, and Saturn's rings observed from our earthly vantage point. The journey of these space pioneers continues to unveil the mysteries of the universe, with their legacy extending beyond the horizon of our understanding. In the year 1984, scientists observed additional flashes of light both before and after Neptune passed in front of a faraway star. These flashes were caused by the rings of Neptune blocking the star's light. However, it wasn't until August 22, 1989, that NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft captured the first actual photographs confirming the existence of Neptune's rings. At that time, Voyager 2 was just a few days away from its closest encounter with the planet. As Neptune started to dominate Voyager's cameras, the spacecraft managed to capture images of a faint but continuous ring system enveloping the planet. These photographs finally provided concrete evidence, confirming what astronomers had long suspected. To this day, Voyager 2 remains the only human-made spacecraft that has come close to Neptune. Since Voyager's flyby in 1989, both the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based telescopes have successfully captured images of the two brightest rings of Neptune. These rings have been named Adams and Leveria, in honor of John Couch Adams and Urban John Joseph Leverrier. These two individuals independently contributed calculations that played a crucial role in determining Neptune's position in the sky and ultimately led to its discovery in 1846. NASA's exploration of the solar system has uncovered fascinating details about Neptune and its intricate ring system. Beyond the well-known rings, Gala, Variella, and Aragon Adams, three more rings were later discovered, extending from the planet outward. These rings are considered relatively young and transient, adding an element of mystery to Neptune's celestial features. Today, we recognize Neptune as having at least five main rings, along with four notable ring arcs. These arcs defy the expected uniform spread, challenging the laws of motion. Scientists now attribute their existence to the gravitational effects of Galatea, the moon just inside the ring. Delving into the outermost rings, four prominent arcs, Libertaria, Egalite, Fraternity, and Courage. Each arc has its unique characteristics, contributing to the complexity of Neptune's ring system. During the Voyager missions, the engineering team strategically adjusted the probe's direction and speed to enable a close flyby of Triton, Neptune's largest moon. This encounter revealed geologically young surfaces and active geysers spewing materials skyward. Surprisingly, Triton, with its bone-chilling surface temperature of minus 235 degrees Celsius, proved to be more than just a frozen sphere, challenging our preconceptions and deepening the interest surrounding Neptune's enigmatic moon. Voyager 2 ended up being the first, and up until now, the only human-made spacecraft to swing by Uranus during its closest approach. In the weeks leading up to and following this encounter, 
Voyager 2 beamed back a trove of valuable scientific data that revolutionized how we perceive this mysterious, faraway planet. It spilled the beans on some fascinating discoveries. We found out that a day on Uranus lasts about 17 hours and 14 minutes. The spacecraft also spilled the tea on Uranus's atmosphere, revealing that it's much like the atmospheres of other gas giants, mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. There's a chilly mix of water, ammonia, and methane ice. Before its visit, Earth-bound telescopes hinted that Uranus was a bit of an oddball, with its rotation axis tilted at a whopping 98 degrees. Uranus rolls on its side, almost like it got a cosmic push. Scientists suspect that a collision with a planet-sized object in the early days of the solar system sent Uranus into this peculiar tilt. Uranus boasts some of the most interesting seasonal changes in the entire solar system. Voyager 2 provided fascinating insights into Uranus, uncovering peculiarities in its magnetic field. Unlike Earth, where the magnetic field aligns neatly with the axis of rotation, Uranus boasts a magnetic field tilted at a striking 59-degree angle. This tilt results in an uneven magnetic field, exhibiting variations in strength that can be as much as 10 times. Moreover, Voyager 2's observations unveiled the presence of radiation belts around Uranus, similar to those found around Saturn. Voyager 2 embarks on an epic journey to meet Uranus, a planet already known to possess rings, as discerned by scientists from Earth. Voyager 2 takes a closer look, unveiling not only the pre-existing rings, but also stumbling upon two more, thus elevating the ring count to an impressive 11. Fast forward to today, and we now recognize a total of 13 rings around Uranus. Voyager 2 continued its cosmic odyssey, bidding farewell to Uranus in 1989 to rendezvous with Neptune. By December 2018, NASA proudly announced that Voyager 2 had breached the boundaries of our solar system, entering the vast expanse of stellar space. 44 years after its launch from Cape Canaveral in 1977, Voyager 2 has ventured an astonishing 19.3 billion kilometers away from its terrestrial origins. This iconic spacecraft remains a beacon of relevance as scientists tirelessly delve into its trove of data, continually unraveling new mysteries about Uranus, the enigmatic ice giant. In January 1986, Voyager 2 performed a celestial ballet around Uranus, discovering not just ten moons, but also two rings. It etched its name in history as the first, and to this day, the only spacecraft to explore the icy realm of Uranus. Among these rings, one, christened the Zeta Ring by scientists, has proven to be a source of consternation for astronomers. Initially spotted during Voyager 2's flyby, this elusive ring eluded detection for almost two decades. In a twist of fate, 2022 brought an unexpected gift to the scientific community, an all-new image of Uranus's ring system featuring the once mysterious Zeta ring. For the longest time, researchers believed they only had two snapshots of this elusive ring, both captured by Voyager 2. The cosmic enigma of Uranus's rings continues to captivate us, and the saga of Voyager 2 persists as a timeless narrative in the exploration of our celestial neighbors. The discoveries made by these twin interstellar space probes are undeniably noteworthy, contributing valuable insights to the realms of science and astronomy. These images not only enrich our understanding of the universe, but also provide scientists with essential tools to explore the final frontier. Additionally, the revelation of an active volcano on Jupiter's moon adds another layer of fascination to our exploration of the universe. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.